Hey folks, uh, uh, this lesson is surface area of cylinders and we're going to combine other solid figures, okay? And all your lessons, don't forget, can be found at MrMathBlog.com. This is an integrated math 3 lesson, so when you get there, uh, then do the integrated math 3. Okay, these are uh, the questions from the day before, so I was going to go over those with my students, so I'm just going to cruise through those. Okay, there's our question. Uh, how can we find the surface area of a prism or a cylinder? Uh, and other solids in this one right here. So surface area of cylinders and other solids. Okay, so here's a cylinder right here. And uh, remember, uh, circumference of a circle is 2 pi r and area is pi r squared. You've seen those over and over and over again. So you should know those by now. And the net figure gives you that right there. Okay, so, so um, uh, this, when we, if I could cut it straight down, this is the circumference up here. So that's what this is, circumference. And then here's the height right here. Okay, and then there's the two circles right there. Okay, and then, uh, so it's lateral area, you guys, is um, uh, length. Here's the lateral area right here. It came from this right here. So it's, uh, it's a rectangle. So length times width. So 2 pi r times h. That's what that says right there. Okay. And then so uh, the surface area is um, the lateral area plus the two circles. Well, each circle is pi r squared. So plus 2 pi r squared right there. Okay. So if you put them together, you get that. All right. So find the lateral area and the surface area of each and give answers in both in terms of pi and round it to the nearest tenth. Okay. So here we go. So uh, let's go ahead and do the lateral area right here. 2 pi r h. Okay. So remember, it makes a rectangle. So this is a uh, circumference times height right here. So there's circumference, 2 pi r, and then times the height. So just plugging them in, we get um, uh, 54 pi. Don't forget, all uh, anything that deals with area is in units squared, so centimeters squared. The surface area, oh, that's right. It said give us decimals to the nearest tenth, so 54 times 3.14159. That's what pi is. It goes on forever and ever and ever. Is about that right there into the nearest tenth. So that's pretty good right there. All right, let's do um, uh, total surface area. So it's the lateral area plus 2 pi r squared. So we plug those in and we get um, uh, 72 pi. Okay, and that's going to be about 226.2. Don't forget centimeters squared. Okay, so here's another one. The only difference here is they give you the whole diameter. So we have to take half of that to get that radius right there, okay? So there's the radius, is 2.5 right there. So the lateral area is 2 pi r h, so there's r 2.5. And when we crank that out, we get uh, 10 pi, which is about 31.4 inches squared. So we add uh, the two circles, 2 pi r squared on both sides. And when we do that, and don't forget, you got to square this first, which is 6.25. And then 6.25 times this... Um, uh, times this 2 gives us 12.5, so we get, uh, what's that, 22.5 centimeters squared, okay, so that's about 70.7 um, .7 centimeters squared, okay, so your textbook may ask you for how much paint is needed, that's a surface area question, or how much aluminum, or how much plastic is needed to cover the outside, those are all surface area questions, so this was actually an application problem that dealt with, I think it was aluminum they're covering it with, okay, all right, so find the surface area of this composite figure. Okay, so we have this right here. Okay, now what they're talking about, this is how I interpret this, you guys. You got this guy in here, and think of a drill, a drill bit, drilling a hole right through there. Okay, and we're going to make this, uh, we're going to paint it red. Okay, that is going to be all painted red, including the inside hole right there. So I see this as the surface area of the prism plus this lateral area inside of the cylinder right there, and then there's not, those circles are gone because the holes are there, so we're going to take off both circles right there, okay? So surface area of a prism, um, perimeter times height, plus the two bases right there, so I get that, so we'll set that aside, we'll come back to it, and let's find uh, the lateral area of the cylinder, and then we're going to subtract off both those circles right there. So the lateral area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h, so 2 times uh, pi times 4 times uh, 20, so 160 pi, and then subtract off 2 pi r squared, so 32 pi, so here we go, so um, uh, the prism surface area plus the cylinder surface area minus those two circles right there, so I get... Uh, I get that as an answer, so um, probably on these ones, uh, they're decimal answers, so so it's about uh, 
2,770.1 feet squared, okay? All right, so this one here, you guys, I'm interpreting it this like this. Um, the prism down here, we're going to make it all red, okay? Not the inside, but the inside of this, okay? Uh, the, I'm sorry, the outside of this, okay? But there's a hole being drilled through, so it's like a little a filler thing, and then we're going to paint the whole outside right there. So I'm seeing the surface area of this prism plus the lateral area of this guy, and then I'm going to take off one circle. We don't need to worry about taking off that circle. We just won't add it, but we got to take off that circle because there's a hole going through, okay? So the surface area of a prism, we get 202. Okay, the lateral area of the cylinder, we get 12 pi. And then, um, and then uh, let's see, the book, uh, the book's interpretation is different. This is the book's interpretation. They're adding those two circles right there. Um, uh, but I think it should be subtracting those two circles right there. So I, I'm going to do this, you guys. I'm going to subtract off those two circles, okay? The surface area of the cylinder is this right here. So here's the, the prism. Here's the surface area of the cylinder. And then we take off those two circles. That's how I interpret this, you guys. So I'm getting that as an answer, which gives me that is a decimal right there okay all right so some possibilities you guys all right when you see something like this this is out of your book this is going to be one of your problems this is how the book is interpreting it the surface area of the large um, uh, plus the surface area of the small and then think of we're drilling a hole right through these two bases so we're going to take off the top uh, five by three and take off the bottom five by three. Okay. All right. This one here. Well, we did this before. So this one's going to be um, surface area, the big guy plus the lateral area, the small guy minus the two base circles right there. Okay. Here um, it's the surface area of the prism plus the lateral area of the cylinder. And notice there's a six right here an eight right here and a 10 right here. Okay, and I'm thinking we're going to take off these two circles right here. I'm surprised I didn't do that right there, but 6, 8, 10 is a P triple, so that means there's a little right angle right there. So the area of this base is 1 half 6 times 8. Okay, don't forget to take off the two circles. I don't think I have that here, okay? All right, so this one here, the, the this one is the surface area of the prism on top plus a lateral area of... Um, of uh, this guy down here and I'm thinking we ought to take off this circle up here it's just a you know it's it's called match the answer game so when you start getting into higher mathematics you just got to see what's the answer and try to get to that and see what the what the textbook authors are trying to figure out right there all right if you are in my class that's the assignment you're going to get take care